Hmm, I wonder. What are the layers of a rainforest? Oh, hi, I'm Caden. Welcome to Smithsonian's National Zoo and Conservation Biology Institute, where I've been wondering about rainforests. Rainforests have so many layers, but what are they? Let's go explore the zoo and find out. Come on! A rainforest is an area with tall trees and lots of rain and a ton of plants and animals. So what are the layers of a rainforest? Well, imagine if we break the rainforest into sections from the ground all the way up into the treetops. Those are the layers, everything in between. We're going to visit the bottom layer first and work our way up. So let's swing into Amazonia and our Amazon rainforest exhibit and check it out. Before we get to the bottom layer of the rainforest, let's talk about a big body of water, the Amazon River. It is one of the largest rivers in the world and home to many animals, including many different turtles, stingrays, and a ton of different fish. Some of the fish include electric eels, piranha, and arapaima, which are one of my favorite. Arapaima grow bigger than I do, 10 feet long and over 400 pounds. You can see one right there. Now let's go to the first layer of the rainforest at the very bottom. What layer is that called? The layer at the bottom of the rainforest is called the forest floor. It is the ground just like the ground we walk on, like dirt in a park. Not much sunlight reaches this area because of all the trees above. Now the animals that love to live here don't climb very well and they love to dig around in the dirt. So these would be animals like armadillos, anteaters, agouti, red-footed tortoises, and poison dart frogs. They are often digging in the dirt looking for decomposers like worms, termites, slugs, and invertebrates like these millipedes. Now what layer is above the forest floor? The layer above the forest floor is called the understory. The understory contains small trees and bushes and it is dimly lit. So animals that live there like to camouflage since there's not much sun. Animals that live in this area would be like the jaguar and their camouflage are their spots. And an animal looking around and the jaguar there might see those spots as sunlight coming through the leaves instead of the jaguar. Other animals that like to live here include the Southern tamandua, snakes like the rainbow boa, bats, birds, frogs, and insects. Now if we keep moving up into the rainforest, what layer is above the understory? Above the understory is the canopy. High up in the trees there's lots of leaves and branches and they act like a rooftop for the understory and forest floor below. It helps block wind, rain, and sun, so it leads to a more humid, still, and darker environment down below. Up here in the canopy, there's a lot of fruit, so a lot of food to eat. Most of the animals and plants live in this area, and with that fruit comes seeds. The animals eat the seeds and poop them out, which helps more plants grow in the future. Animals that live in this area are great climbers or flyers. So animals like birds, monkeys like emperor tamarins, sloths, tree frogs, lizards, and insects. Now what layer is above the canopy? All 
All right, we've reached the top layer of the rainforest. Do you know what it's called? This is the emergent layer. This layer is between 150 to 250 feet high in the sky. The tallest trees are up here, and there's a lot of sunlight and wind, so they disperse their seeds with the wind. Now, one of the tallest trees in the rainforest is this one right next to me, as well as the one in back. This is the great kapok tree. A kapok tree can grow over 200 feet tall. Now imagine how tall is 200 feet? If you took six school buses and lined them up end to end, that length would be as tall as those tallest trees. Six school buses, that's really tall. Now there's a lot of sun and wind and heat and rain up here in this highest layer. So the animals that live up here are generally animals that can fly around. So lots of birds, bats, and butterflies live in this layer. Wow, that was a great question to explore and learn together. Rainforests are home to many different plants and animals that call all the different layers home. Do you like rainforests? Me too. And we can help keep the animals happy and healthy in rainforests by protecting their habitats. Trees are really important to their habitats as we saw. Now paper is made from trees. So if we use less paper, we can help protect their habitats. If you are drawing or coloring on paper, make sure to flip it over and use the other side to so use the whole thing up. And when you are done, don't just toss it in the trash, put it in the recycling. That way that paper gets turned into new paper instead of having to cut down new trees to make new paper. So make sure you recycle to help our rainforest. I love asking questions, wondering about animals and nature. Now, do you have questions? Ask your question, go find an answer, and ask an adult to help if you need it. Keep learning along the way and have fun. Thanks for wondering, exploring, and learning with me. Stay curious and I'll see you next time.